Today we're going to talk about the foamer and the pressure washer. Uh, this unit here is the, the foamer. If you're going to be washing a truck or a piece of equipment, uh, here's the controls for it. This is the selector valve for washing wax, which if you're doing like a pickup to clean, we got blast degreaser right here, which would be for heavy duty grease. Uh, if you're cleaning a machine, but you wouldn't want to use that on a pickup or something because it will strip the wax. And this truck wash, if you're washing the semi trucks, it's a, it's a little more aggressive uh, than just the washing wax. But uh, if you're just doing a pickup, you just want to use the washing wax. And then here's the controls. You can use the soap on the pressure washer and you can also use it uh, for the foamer, but you can only have one selected at a time. Most of the time you're going to be using the foamer. So whenever uh, the valve is, is in line with the hose, that means the ball valve's on. So in this case the foamer is on and the pressure washer is off. If you were going to run the, the soap to the pressure washer, you could turn that on there and then turn the foamer off and now you would have the pressure washer the soap would be going to that unit but if you're using a foamer that would be on that would be off select your product and then just come over here and turn both of these knobs to on and then this will pressurize the hose it uses air and water and mixes them together so you just turn both of those on and then control it with the ball out at the end. When you're done, turn them off. And that should be it for, the, for using the foamer. Now to run the pressure washer, fairly simple. Here's the, the start, the green button. The red will turn it off. You've got the switch here, which is for the burner. For the heat, up is on, down is off. If you are going to use the burner, for the heat, make sure you turn the exhaust fan on because that will take the smoke outside. It does run on either diesel fuel or kerosene. Do not put gas in it. As far as turning it on. That will turn it off. Here's the hose for it here. And the wand, we have a couple of attachments. If you just pull on the blue collar, that comes off. This is the general one you would use for washing. Uh, we have this for the floor. And here's a low pressure wand. And this is, you can put this on the end if you're cleaning out a drain. It'll pull itself in and clean out the pipe on the drain. The one that's normally going to be on it would be this one here. The water is generally on, but if you did have a problem, make sure that the water is on. And again, make sure that the uh, exhaust fan is turned on if you are using the burner, which if you're using cleaning grease, you'd use the burner. If you're just washing mud, you do not need to, to have the hot water on. And then all the products as far as the soap are down here, so if it's not drawing, you want to check, you might be out of one of the soaps and just let somebody know and we'll order new and I think that should do it.